or Jesus the Christ, our Lord. What is your boast? Have you refrained from fornication, idolatry, and all the acts of sin? If you refrain from these vices, you have something to boast about. I am again declaring from high heaven that since the 14th of February 1942, I threw a challenge to the whole world if any man could succeed to make me angry. This is my work. I can boast of. What is your boast? You are advised not to steal, fornicate, tell lies, drink, and kill. But have you complied? I have gained total abstinence from all these vices. This is my boast. What you do and what you cannot do, I cannot boast for you. St. Paul said, Every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now, they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible crown. I therefore so run not as uncertainly, so fight I not as one that beats the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. He also advised Timothy when he said, I have fought a good fight, I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love is appearing. What is the use of being a Christ student, but you still fornicate? You profess to be a pastor, but you fornicate and steal and tell lies. Those who do not practice the gospel of God have nothing to boast of. Each of us should boast in our work, not in the work of others. Brethren, I do not wish to be tedious unto you, one stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Let those who have ears to hear, hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.